Kristen Imogen from Waffle TV and I'm joined here by some of the cast from um, The Trench. Um, so tell us a bit about your play. Um, Trench is a show about a girl from the First World War who gets trapped underground and basically has to start uh, undertaking an epic, fantastical journey of salvation to try and find his way out. <laughs> Usual one, shouting to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the set that like, we've got is yeah, our designers done an amazing job with the set. So immediately, once you're in the set, the costume and house music sets the tone very easily for us. So we kind of just go with that. Yeah. yeah. So there's quite a few people working on this one place. Yeah. I mean, there's there's five of us in it. There's kind of four people, and actors, and then Al uh, is a singer songwriter who performs all his music live. And then to the side of that, we've got um, directors and um, designers and uh, assistant directors and music. Yeah. So there's a, there's a big team there that's going to come together. Yeah. And you also have puppets on stage as well. We do have puppets, yeah. yeah. That's scary. Yeah, terrifying. It's so wild. Yeah, he designs a load of our shows. He's absolutely amazing. He makes, he makes all our puppets as well. Um, but you've had a good time. I've had a great time, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's called the guide, and he's, he's a three-man operator puppet. But I get to be the uh, I get to be the voice, so I have a great time enjoying him. And he's also he's a, bit of, he's a little bit of a life of his own. I can help you find the thing you seek. The creature speaks with steady tone and line. But as with every other thing in life, be known: with all that's taken comes a price. But eyes the creature, humped and cloven hoofed, his black eyes shine like puzzles in the mud. And all the fear falls from his weary bones. And rising to his feet, he calmly says, There is no cost more great than that I've paid. How do you let him talk? Oh gosh, it, yeah, it takes quite a long time. I mean, you have to spend a lot of time figuring out where he's going to move and how he's going to move and then it's like working as a team, that's the hard bit, is just, just taking one step at a time knowing that where he's going to move and when he has to stop, when he's going to turn and all this. And eventually you sort of get a feel for it, but it takes a while. Yeah. And you get a point yeah. where you have to start treating the puppets like actors as well. You kind of need to find a character for them and then because, because in our show they, 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 they play characters, you know, they're, they're so you need to find a personality for them and then do that. It's an interesting kind of strange thing, but it's quite good fun. Yeah. And uh, what type of audience are you trying to attract? Yeah. 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 Uh, anyone who uh, wants to come and see it, really. I mean, we've, we've had quite a range, I would say, yeah. audience wise, from kind of young English, I mean, probably over eight, but then right up to the other end of the spectrum. So I don't think it's specifically for anyone. I mean, it's hard, it's basic storytelling, really. And because there's puppets and music and physical theatre, there's, there's a little bit in there, hopefully, for everyone. So, yeah. But it's quite great, so it's just... Yeah, not little, little kids. Little, little kids yeah. get a little scared of the puppets. The creature nods and flickers with a smile. Then offer help by shout. But first, this no. The path ahead will not be straight to walk. Three trials must you face along the way to prove you possess the heart and word. The words. Come 
clacked heavy from the creature's throat, like bark shards flaking from an ancient tree. Its skin like hides of gargoyles long forgot, all stretched and stitched to hide its crooked bones. <coughs> 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 The first to pass across an open field that lies atop a sharp and thorny ridge. Your pace must never pass beyond a walk, no matter what the fear within your heart. And final word to keep you on your path. Whatever happens, only look ahead. With that the thing withdraws into the dark. Work calls out. There comes back no reply. He scrambles on the floor to find his lamp. But when he holds it up, the beast is gone. How's the show been going so far? Public reviews? Really well, yeah. We've been, we've been very spoiled with our reviews, actually. I think our, I was just, this morning we just had our eighth five star review of the festival, which is pretty much going. And the audiences have been great and selling out. Um, it's very exciting. In fact, we just added an extra show on Thursday night, half past midnight, for anyone who hasn't made it so far. So, yeah, it's going really well. It's been a is good this your first show? No, this is our 11th. 11th? In a row. 11, yeah, 11 years. Yeah, 11 years. Um, no, but like, you know, it's my first show. It's ours ever. Does the group change around quite a lot? Or is it? Uh, yeah, there's sort of a core, um, but then with every show, we, we bring in more people and, and, and sort of some people come from other places that we've worked with before. So we just, over the years, we kind of pick people up and we like and we keep hold of them. <laughs> You know, so it's not like new casting for each thing. It, it, it varies. This show actually is is pretty much new. I mean, Al Alfie and Conrad, another guy, we've done stuff together. We've never done an actual show together before, have we? Tim, who's in it, is brand new. Al, we've known each other for a long time, but we've never done a show together. In fact, we've never done a show at all. So it sort of depends on the, the specific project. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're very well. So your show's going to be on until um, the 27th, but we're not for the 27th. No. Um, at the Pleasant's Court. Yeah. Pleasant's Court, yeah, Pleasant's to 10 past 1 every day, plus um, half past midnight on Thursday night as well. Okay. Keep watching Waffle TV for our daily French coverage.